questions. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. And thank you very much, Michal, not only for very able chairing of this uh, very long but very productive uh, General Affairs Council, but also for how well you covered the outcome of our discussions. So it allows me to focus only on a few uh, uh, points which I would like to um, uh, highlight uh, in my introductory remarks. Uh, I would uh, begin with uh, the December European Council and focus on the number uh, of points that require us all to put uh, and uh, uh, to push in uh, one uh, uh, direction. The first, uh, the pandemic. Um, here, I think it was clearly underlined uh, that we need to, to improve our coordination and the Commission really continues to work uh, uh, tirelessly on this and I think that uh, best proof uh, of that is uh, today uh, authorization of the new contract uh, to buy doses of future COVID-19 vaccine for Europeans produced by CureVac. Uh, as you know, this is already the fifth uh, contract and uh, so far we have secured uh, 1.2 billion doses of potential uh, vaccines. So it, sh it, uh, it shows that uh, once we work together, it really brings very positive uh, uh, results. Tomorrow, uh, we in the Commission are going to adopt a recommendation on a rapid antigen tests, focused on criteria for the selection, uh, also the, the, the clear areas uh, uh, and instances when they should be used, uh, who should administer the test, validation, and uh, the mutual recognition. It is uh, clear that we need effective testing before the vaccines uh, arrive, although we are glad uh, to register positive de developments on that front, as I just was referring to. Meanwhile, boosting our testing capacity is our chance to help ensure smooth uh, functioning of the internal market to facilitate member state access to tests that meet the minimum standards and criteria. The Commission has launched a tender process worth 100 million euro under the emergency support instrument to purchase a rapid antigen tests and deliver them to the member states. In parallel, the Commission is also launching a joint procurement procedure to enable access for member states to a second stream of uh, antigen tests before the end of the year. Second, on climate action. Here we hope that in December all leaders will unite uh, behind our proposal to step up our 2030 ambition by reducing emissions by at least 55%. Yes, it is uh, an ambitious goal, but uh, it is also within our reach. And this is essential for certainty for, certainty for our industries for our global credibility and also for our global economic standing. We can strengthen our first mover advantage in clean tech. And uh, uh, I would like to underline that, it that the impact of all this effort shouldn't be underestimated. To facilitate the process, the Commission is consulting those member states uh, who deem it necessary to have in-depth discussion on their specific situation. But to succeed, on the ground, we need to have the multi-annual financial framework and the next generation EU in place on time. This point was led uh, by Commissioner Johannes Hahn, and as you know, the Commission expressed its regret that uh, member states could not advance on the finalization of the package. It is the time for each institution to assume its political responsibility and to take the necessary steps towards the adoption of the different pieces uh, of legislation. People across the Europe are relying on us and we cannot afford uh, uh, to fail them. And I really would like to thank the German presidency for enormous effort in this respect. And I believe that uh, uh, this effort will also bring us uh, uh, to the uh, final conclusion on this very important matter. We also discussed the calendar for the 2021 European semester. The roadmap has rightly been adapted to help us uh, deliver on the recovery and resilience uh, facility given its utmost importance and urgency. In this context, uh, the 2021 cycle will not be business as usual. Turning to enlargement, uh, the point well covered uh, by uh, uh, Minister Roth, this point uh, uh, was led by Commissioner Oliver Varheli. Uh, here we feel that we are in the final stretch towards an agreement uh, on the two negotiating frameworks and putting accession talks with uh, Albania and North Macedonia firmly 
on track. Now, efforts need to be redoubled uh, so that the issues raised by Bulgaria in relation to North Macedonia can be resolved and agreement on the negotiating frameworks can be found. We want uh, the intergovernmental conference to take place as soon as possible. Therefore, the Commission will stay in close contact with the German presidency to support these efforts. This would be a strong signal to the entire region that the enlargement process works and delivers results. And this message is even more important under the current situation, which has put equally significant strain on the health system and economies uh, uh, of the Western Balkans. Finally, a few words on legislative programming. I presented uh, uh, the 2021 Commission work program to the ministers. Now we are shifting our focus uh, to the joint declaration on legislative priorities for 2021 and to the first ever joint conclusion on multi-annual programming that will prioritize a number uh, of common objectives for the coming four years. The objective is to have both documents signed by the three presidents in the margins of the December's European Council so they can serve as a clear roadmap for our joint work. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Now I pass the floor to Commissioner Reinders. Mr. Yeah. Reinders, the floor is yours.